And in a five, four, three, two, one. Presto, change of battle. Hey guys, welcome back as always. My name is Lazar. And as you can plainly see, my friends, it's finally that wonderful time again. It's battle time. So first we're gonna check out what he brought on PC. I'm gonna give you my two cents on this stuff. And of course, then we'll hop on over to console. But until then, the brand new item is... Oh, a Siandera. All right, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the... Mm. Okay, it's torn down. It's the Russian tour called Siandana. This humble Siandana is one of the children of the Russian tour. Who is Russian tour or who is formed into a clan devoted nation in defense of their home? All right, that's a little bit of lore. That lore, guys, will probably correct me. It looks like the, the thing we got to the Nasia Prime, but like tattered and really crappy. And anyway, uh, pff, a little bit of lore there. You got Prime Smite Infested. Now, when it comes to faction mods, my friends, there's no denying these things can add a whole lot of power on the right build in the right circumstances, yada, yada, etc. But they're really a pain in the arse to use. Honestly, you gotta max them all out. You gotta swap them in and out from mission to mission, and they cost a whole lot of endo and a whole lot of credits to actually max out, and there's a ton of them. From my humble point of view, Prime skip on these until the developer sees fit to add some usability options to them. Prime cry around, however, prior one, this is cold damage for your rifle, an extremely useful mod. As for Combo Fury, I, 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 I mean, it has its uses, but honestly, I wouldn't bother too much with it. When it comes to weapons, let's check them out. You got the Machete Rave. Is this the most powerful machete? Yes, this is it. This is it. If you want the most powerful machete with an apps, and it also has an absolutely amazing skin, granted 10 or Gen 4, right? this is definitely the way to go. Highly recommend this weapon, just like I highly recommend the Opticore Vandal. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of the Vandal, simply because I'm, an, I'm a fanboy for the OG Opticore, that big bada boom. But honestly, the Vandal is simply a whole lot more usable. And if you guys want to see what it can do with Galvanized Mods, 2022 build update, Steel Path, the works, look at the cards, right now, what else we got? Cosmetics, my friends, and as per the usual, these will be subjective and entirely up to you. If you want yourself some Kubra armor with the sparkly sparkly and the jittery jittery and the giggly giggly, there you go. Prisma Latrum for your chest, never put it on a lady, and a shoulder and a whole bunch of other stuff. Hey, Prex cards, just what you always wanted. If you don't have Inaros, pick up the sense of Inaros blueprint, and if you already have Inaros, why don't you use them to visit battle? A hint, hint, a hint, hint. Now let's hop on over to console. And the brand new item for console is gonna be the Gara Immortal skin. Rejoice, Gara fans! You also get a Prisma Shade, the best version of the shade! Do you use the shade? Not really, but hey, it's the best version prior to on this one. Scorch, don't get it from Battle Kit here, get it from the game. It's not worth wasting the Ducats on it. Prime Magazine Wharf, magazine capacity for your rifles. Now, in certain situations, this can come in really handy, but more often than not, not really. Prio 2 on this one. The Prova Vandal! Is it one of the best melee weapons in the game? No! But honestly, Battle kinda brings that rarely. Try to pick it up, just to have in your collection. As for the Mara Detron, listen, once upon a time it was the best, probably, secondary weapon in the game, and it still has a fantastic uh, interaction with Mag. What doesn't have a fantastic interaction with Mag? We have a Tenant version now, which is better, but I will still pick up the Mara Detron if you need the Mastery Points. If you wanna see what the Tenant version can do, Link the cards right now. We got Prime Target Cracker, pretty clear cut and dry, critical damage for your secondary weapons, Prior 1 on this one, as well as Prior Regen. You don't need to max this one fully, okay? One from the top will still get you all the reses, and in combination with Sacrifice, absolutely glorious. Do try to pick up this one up, but then again, it's not mandatory, still a Prior 2. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. Normally, I don't really have an opinion on cosmetics, because these, of course, will be subjective, so pick up whatever you like. If you don't have Inaros, pick up the sense of Inaros blueprint as mentioned before. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you think about that rag, uh, that Siandana, the brand new item, in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!